Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Solid Models. So in this video, we are going to be looking at um, the start of the build of the 132nd Ravel uh, Mark II Spitfire, uh, which I will be uh, converting into a Mark V. So, um, so what we're going to be looking at this episode, obviously, is uh, building the cockpit. I'm going to be doing a, a little bit of uh, minute upgrading, so basically just a few wires just to tart it up a little bit, um, a little bit with the yoke as well. Um, what else are we going to be looking at? We're going to be looking at obviously painting it um, and a tiny little bit of weathering as well. So, um, without further ado, let's go over to the bench and uh, let's get started. So with the uh, spade handle, I uh, used a bit of uh, masking tape around there to give you, uh, you know, to give it a bit more texture. Uh, also, I did a few um, wires in there to, to add it to, which technically should be on there. Um, so moving on to the seat, this is part of the um, supporting part of the seat. Um, there's a few flash holes in there, I decided to drill out. Um, probably one of those unnecessary things that you do because um, you're probably not really going to see it but you know sometimes these little details are nice to do even if it's just for yourself um, you know so you've done a little bit more uh, detail into it and uh, you know it's one of those little things. So we're doing some of these details, obviously, you know, you get a lot of um, excess plastic at the back where it's been, uh, when you've drilled it out. Um, you know, sometimes take away uh, a bit of it with a knife, um, you know, run that across the back of it. And then uh, I tend to find if you clean it up a little bit more, um, just use some uh, extra thin glue. Uh, just run that down the back or, in the case of this, through uh, some of the flash holes and that will basically melt away. Um, any of that loose plastic. Now this little part was uh, a lot more fiddly uh, to put on. I'd actually put it together uh, wrong at one point, so I had to uh, take it apart and redo it because it didn't sit out the way it should. And then uh, I glued that framework to the main framework and then the the seat on there because it says I've done it wrong and even though I said before the instructions were quite simple um, I had to go back through it all over again but again uh, adding a few more little details um, some of the comrades there from the uh, rudders um, some wiring uh, from some of the controls these ones actually are a little bit more visible so I was quite happy uh, with doing these parts so next moving on is uh, obviously the painting uh, painting up some of the details and um, so based it in um, aircraft green uh, obviously matte black uh, for the controls and uh, a bit of brown for the headrest and uh, the control column So after painting some of these um, smaller details uh, around the cockpit, most uh, most of the stuff is green in there, so it's uh, quite a quick process. And some of the small black details. Um, there's not much to do really on uh, the controls itself. Um, obviously, I painted uh, some of the doors there, and using white um, and dry brushed on uh, across uh, the dials. Um, to give it a bit more of a scratch instead of using a silver, this sticks out a little bit better. Now using a silver pencil, I use this for um, most of my uh, scratch work. So of course, you know, uh, 
we're in the edge of a pencil across um, some of the ray surfaces uh, and then for stuff like inside the seat itself and the pan um, you know um, just a little bit uh, quite simple little scratches in there uh, in sort of the places that you know are going to get caught uh, by belts or the parachute or whatever So there you go, I saw the uh, details painted up there. Um, going back with the control panel itself, um, there is a decal set for that, but you know you lose a lot of detail in there. So I skipped uh, the decals for that. And there's literally only the two decals um, in the cockpit uh, to put in. So that was uh, quick and easy there as well. So I'll move on to um, sort of a bit of panel lining um, and a bit of you know grimy look to, to the cockpit to make it well uh, used. I actually used uh, Humbrol's black wash. Uh, it's an enamel uh, wash, so using um, white spirits to sort of uh, blend that out from um, the recesses. Um, I wouldn't actually really recommend it. It's, it's not really that good, uh, if I'm being honest, but uh, using enamel thinners um and you know enamel products on acrylics um it doesn't attack it uh, really uh, so it's quite a good thing to use over you know an acrylic color um because it doesn't really do any uh, damage as we're well using uh, acrylics um on acrylics you know you you use water to thin it out and sometimes that can you know uh, react to the other paint and then you know it pulls it back and you probably end up having to do it again so i always uh, advise using um you know uh, an enamel over an uh, acrylic uh, finish before i forget i'm going to clean up the um, bottom edges of the framework so to, to uh, glue on the the side walls um it's good practice to do because sometimes um particularly using some of the extra thin glue uh, with glue uh, paint sorry still on uh, the model uh, it tends to not react very well or stick at all so a little bit more extra detailing in uh, the cockpit i've used uh, glue and glaze put a couple of globs on um, into those dials to give you a bit of an effect of um, you know a glass uh, finish um, again something that's not really going to be quite well uh, seen so next we move on to uh, the seat belt I'm using Eddard's. Um, these are a steel uh, product, um, obviously with a, a print over the top. I like these better because I feel that you can manipulate them better than some of the fabric ones. These ones I use uh, quite a lot, obviously using a sharp knife to cut these out. Uh, I actually had to reposition uh, some of the belting because uh, I didn't think it was quite right. Uh, but using a bit of super glue uh, to attach it in place, uh, particularly with the side belts, um, let them dry a little bit and then, you know, manipulate them into place. And as you can see there, they sit very nicely uh, within the seat. And there is the whole cockpit uh, complete and all glued together and ready for full assembly to the fuselage. So there you go, guys. There's the main cockpit done. Um, I'm quite happy with that. It's turned out quite well. Um, you know, so it's very well detailed. It's not really much need for uh, upgrades in there at all. Um, but I hope um, some of those bits may have helped you um, in there with maybe a bit of the weathering and some of the little bits and pieces we've added in there. Um, so 
again uh, guys thanks very much for watching as always um, please like and subscribe to the channel any comments are always welcome um, you can also obviously follow us on Facebook and Instagram which sort of models uh, so in the next video um, we'll be looking at uh, the main fuselage so if you pop that bell uh, notification on as soon as that's uploaded that will obviously tell you uh, the next instalment of the build so uh, thanks again very much guys and I'll catch you in the next one